Hello, welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Dominic Samuel. <laughs> During the preseason, Mowbray decided we need to invest in some new talent with the attacking ranks at Blackburn Rovers and opted to bring in young forward Dominic Samuel. His statistics prior to his move were not great, so my optimism was more curiosity than excitement. Can this young lad who has yet to be given a real go actually score the goals that can get Rovers promoted? Well, the answer to that, in short, is no. Now, before I jump on the Samuel hate train, there could be many reasons why he failed to deliver. Confidence is a massive trait for a football player. Towards the middle and the back end of the season, Samuel was clearly lacking that as the games came thick and fast. Also, despite a promising start to his Rovers career, the form of Danny Graham and Dak forced Mowbray to dropping Samuel and using more as a substitute, which lacked his game time. When he did get the start, he was played more out wide, which limits his shot on goal. However, when called upon to play down the middle, his abilities and fundamentally his confidence was not there. Is he a lost course for Rovers? Not sure. However, I doubt he'll be playing much championship football with Rovers next season, whether we cash in on him or loan him out to try and gain some confidence next year. Rovers need to get things right early doors in the championship next season. We can't rely on a striker stripped of confidence to fire us up the table. I feel harsh for this rating, but it was obvious that Samuel's form dipped towards and after the festive period, so a rating of C- is the best I can opt for, but I feel I might be a little too kind. So let's take a look now at the numbers that matter for Dominic Samuel. All in all, uh, Dominic was involved in 47 matches for Rovers this season in all competitions. He scored eight goals in the process, bagging two assists. He actually played in only 53% of all possible first team action uh, this season. And that statistic might go against him into the new into the new season. However, he was uh, substituted on uh, 18 times and brought off 12 times in the competitions. He actually chalked up three yellows and one red card in the process. As for League One only... Uh, he played 36 times, winning 23 of those, drawing 7 and losing 6. Scored 5 goals in the process, which equals around about 0.14 goals a game. Uh, as for the amount of minutes he played, he chalked up 1,940 minutes of first team action. Uh, his last 5 games looked like this. 3 wins, a draw and a defeat. Uh, speaking of defeats, Dominic uh, has lost twice in the previous 25 games. Uh, score, he hasn't scored in 20 games for Rovers. That, that, that's also going to bite him in the backside as uh, Moby looks to rebuild this season. Uh, he's only scored in 14% of all games. As for a striker, that's pretty low. Uh, he was involved in a six-game winning streak for Rovers, also involved in those two uh, streaks where we could not find a point. No, we, we, we found a point, found two points, but we couldn't find a win. But it was also on a two-game losing streak where we could not find a point. Um, he was involved in a 13-game run without a loss, scoring in three games in succession. So that's not too bad. We'll take a look at that in a second. But like I said, 20 games without a goal. Uh, so there it is, right at the start of the season. And that's when we thought we had something. We thought we had a, uh, a striker who could sniff out a goal. And even even up until this point, maybe even at this point, you'd still think, yeah, he's going to get 10, 10, 15 goals this season. Uh, but that was it. That was it. And then... Then he did not. Uh, he did not play. We did not. He did not, did not score. So, yeah, definitely a confidence player. You know, looking at these three, you you think, yep, 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 yep. He's on, he's on, he's on fire. Um, despite the three 0 win at Rochdale, could not add to his tally. So, yeah, well, we'll see what happens with him next season. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.